Hey guys. Hey guys. <laughs> so we are Javi and Joe, and today's video is going to be a bit different from our usual videos. In this video, we will be breaking down our cost of living for the month we lived in Puerto Vallarta. It's about time that we sit down and break down the cost for you guys. So today we'll be giving you our expenses, such as rent, transportation, groceries, etc. So let's get started. <laughs> tracked every expense that we had while here in Puerto Vallarta. I busted out my trusty notes app and even wrote it down by date, every single expense. So we're gonna break up the categories over here. The categories are rent and electricity. We have food and dining out, that's groceries, water, restaurants, cafes, personal care, haircuts, etc. Uh, transportation, which includes Ubers and buses, phones, so like internet, phone calls, things like that, uh, laundry, and then an additional category for fun things that we did. For the fun category, we're going to have our two weekend trips that we took and our food tour included in that. We'll give you the general cost for each activity because if we broke it down, it would be another 30 minutes. We do also have our fixed expenses that we are gonna be incurring every month, regardless of where we are in Mexico, which will include our insurance and any subscriptions that we have. So we'll break that down too. Let's begin. So the first category is rent and electricity. So for a month from October 24th to November 21st, we booked the Airbnb and that cost us $626.51 plus $20 of electricity totaling $646.51. Now this also includes a 65% discount that we received from Airbnb from the host for booking for a month. Uh, typically that's the way it works. If you book for a month, hosts tend to give good discounts. This one happened to be a really good discount. The next category is gonna be food and dining. So this includes groceries, water, restaurants, and cafes. For groceries, this includes anything that we ever bought for the house. Food, toiletries, um, personal items. Um, and that totaled to be $235.55. And then water. You cannot drink the water straight from the tap here in Mexico. So we did have to buy big jugs of water basically every other day um, because we went through water so fast. So we spent a total of $21 here, $21.86. So for restaurants, we spent a total of $364.45. This was 23 meals that we ate within the month. I know because I wrote down every single day <laughs> that we ate out. Um, for cafes, we spent $75.72. For food and dining, it varied a lot from week to week. Our first week, we spent probably double what we spent our second week here in Puerto Vallarta. So, of course, it is gonna just depend on how much you eat out and how much you eat in. We will give you a couple scenarios at the end of this video where it lays out what your spending could look like if you ate out more or ate in more. So, stay tuned for that part. Next one for personal care, that did include two haircuts for Javier, I got my nails done. For the haircuts and the nails, we spent a total of $23.88. Also, I did get my eyelash extensions while we were in Puerto Vallarta, but not everyone gets eyelash extensions when in Puerto Vallarta, so we didn't include that in the grand total. But in case you're wondering, it was $90. Pretty equivalent to what you would spend back home in the States. Actually, it might be more expensive in the States, but don't quote me on that. I never got any done in the States. Next, we have transportation. Uh, this includes the bus we took from Guadalajara to Puerto Vallarta initially, which cost us $68. And then while we were in Puerto Vallarta, we took buses here and there, the public buses, and that cost us a whopping $13. Uh, so the bus total is $81. And of course, while we were there, we took some Ubers here and there, and that cost us $46. So the transportation total is $127. For our phones, we already had our SIM cards from when we were in Ensenada, so we only needed to actually top up our account, and that came out to $31.84. Then we have laundry. We dropped our clothes off at a nearby laundromat uh, about once a week 
and they washed it, dried it, and folded it for us. So for that, we spent $33.22 for the month. Now, for the fun portion, our two weekend trips were a trip to Sayulita and San Pancho, and then a trip to Yalapa. So for the trip to Sayulita and San Pancho, we spent a total of $259.43. Again, this includes all transportation, food, drinks, fun, wow, on those weekend trips. So if you wanna see that and kinda of see the breakdown of pricing there, you need to go check out those videos, which we will link somewhere here. So the second weekend trip we took was down to Yalapa and we spent a total of $154.76. And then for the last part of the fun is our food tour that we did. It was a self-led food tour. You can also check out that video. We spent a total of $24.73 for the both of us. So for the fun category, the total was $438.92. So all of those categories, the Puerto Vallarta specific expenses brings our grand total to $2,288.21. For the both of us. That does not include our fixed expenses. So our fixed expenses are broken up into our insurance that we pay every month, which is a total of $248.13, which we never use. Not ideal. But it's there for emergencies. Yes, and if you guys happen to know a good like travel slash being abroad Medical insurance, insurance, yeah, let us know. Because it's not only travel insurance that we have, we have actual medical insurance. Um, so, $248.13. As for all our subscriptions, which includes Spotify, Epidemic Sounds, Adobe Photo, um, those subscriptions totaled out to $56.10. So our fixed expenses slash revolving expenses equals out to $304.23. So if we add all that together, the Puerto Vallarta specific expenses, our fixed costs, we have a grand total of $2,592.44. Okay, so those were our expenses for the month. Now, if you've been following us for a while, you know that we work online with VIP Kid teaching English to Chinese kids. So that's how we're able to basically work from different places every month. Now, just for the sake of transparency, to show you a little bit of how we support our lifestyle, we're gonna break down how much we made during that month or give you a rough outline. So we worked about 138 classes a month each. That's about 18 hours a week. So that does give us time to work on other projects that we're trying to prioritize. So we basically do the bare minimum to maintain our lifestyle. Now, 138 classes a month times two gives us roughly $2,600 a month. So essentially, we broke even. But again, there's always things that we can adjust. Uh, like the first week we got here to Puerto Vallarta, we went all out eating out almost every day here and there. And the second week we cut down a bit, we went grocery shopping, we ate in. So it's gonna fluctuate a lot. Since the cost will vary from couple to couple, person to person, we do wanna give you a couple of scenarios just to give you an idea. For example, we'll use food, uh, like the groceries, eating out, cafes, things like that. Uh, our most expensive week was the first week we got there, went all out, and we spent an average of $42 a day. So if you take the $42 and multiply it by 30 days, you get $1,260. That's if we were to keep our first week's lifestyle throughout the whole month. And on the other end of the spectrum, our cheapest week was about $18 a day. So times 30 days gives us about $540. And that includes eating mostly at home, eating out sometimes at cheaper restaurants like your local food stand or whatever. So of course you could be spending a couple hundred dollars less or you can be basically doubling our expenses. And again, this is for two people for a month. So of course you can cut everything else in half minus your rent. And you can also find places much cheaper in Puerto Vallarta. We did go ahead and book a two bedroom just to make sure that we were able to teach while we were there. So take that into account as well. So while we were there, we did live a pretty average lifestyle. We, we had a good time in Puerto Vallarta. We didn't hold back too much. So you can always adjust your 
living expenses and your expectations for your trip. If there's anything that we missed that you want included in our next video or you have any questions, just leave us a comment. We plan to be making these videos in every city that we stay in because we'll be there for basically a month. Mm -hmm. So any tips, any questions, let us know guys and we will see you in the next one. We're going to go ahead and wrap it up here and say see you later. So our next series of videos are going to be coming to you from Guadalajara. So expect tons of fun. Hope you guys get excited because we're excited. So if you like this video and you found it helpful or useful, uh, go ahead and give it a thumbs up, hit subscribe, and hit the bell to get notified every time we post. We'll see you in the next one, guys. Bye, guys. Bye.